Hello, welcome to PA Tutorials. So, in this video, we will talk about functional versus non functional testing. So, this is uh, one of the part of the video series. We are covering uh, different topics uh, in the software testing, and um, this is one of the important topic. And uh, like, if you are a software tester, you know like what is functional testing, and um, uh, we may have some idea about non-functional testing so we'll uh, look in more detail in this video and see what are the actual differences between functional and non-functional testing and why we why we need to do both functional and non-functional testing for any product to be successful <coughs> so let's uh, look at uh, the basic definitions of functional testing and what we need to what we need to carry out functional testing so functional testing is basically a test to carry out to verify each feature of the application works according to the requirements so this is the basic um, of, uh, purpose of functional testing to verify each of the requirements works as per the requirements so this is very common testing that is done for before we do any other types of testing and so what are the, some of the important facts about functional testing so we need to ensure it's all functionalities are working correctly and if you have like requirements defined for the product so we want to make sure that uh, all the requirements are met for the application through the functional testing and we want to provide a defect free product that is the basic purpose of uh, functional testing and also if we have multiple modules in the application we want to make sure the pieces are properly integrated or modules are properly integrated for the application so these are the some of the important facts about functional testing and uh, you probably see some of the functional testing techniques in my previous videos about manual testing so you can watch those things so, so what are the things we will be testing as part of functional testing is basically the major functionalities right as per the requirements and basic usability so you want to see that application is user friendly right how you customer uses the product you can easily navigate through the application without any problem and things like that and error validation right so whenever there is an error there's a proper error messages are getting displayed in the application so these are the some of the important functionalities to be tested as part of functional testing right so what are the different types of functional testing we have like unit testing where you test each of the modules independently smallest parts and smoke testing right and sanity testing right these are the things uh, covered in detail in different videos so you can watch them uh, to understand so what is the purpose of each of these uh, tests right so smoke testing is basically to make sure the build you get is uh, able to uh, how critical functionality is working and you should be able to carry out the further extensive testing right then sanity testing is basically performed on the stable software build which underwent small changes in the code of the functionality right so these are all done as part of the functional testing then you have like integration testing regression testing and user acceptance testing so these are the various types of uh, testing done as part of functional test right all these ensures that your application meets the requirements uh, functional requirements uh, through this testing so that is the important aspect of functional testing then what is the point doing non-functional testing right so functional testing is covering all the requirements and functionality why we need to do the non-functional let us look at that so non-functional testing is performed to see that application um, 
uh, non-functional requirements of the product like accuracy, security, stability, durability and correctness, right? So we want to check for security, we want to check for stability, right? Durability and um, correctness like each scenario when you test it uh, gives the correct result any number of times. If you do the same action, same test multiple times, uh, it should give the correct number and also if you do like the test with multiple users, your application should respond quickly and things like that are important also for a product to be successful. That's why we need to do non-functional testing. Right, so these are the some of the effects, right? Increases the ease of use, right? Efficiency, maintainability, and portability of the product, right? So, so the ease of uh, usability increases, efficiency, like the application works all the time properly, uh, can easily maintain the application, and things like that. So, it reduces the production risk, right? And, uh, number of users are using the product, the product doesn't fail in the production and uh, things like that and uh, optimize the way product is installed, configured, executed and managed and monitored. So even though the functionality is working, so we want to make sure the product is easy to install, easy to configure, right? Um, like if there is more number of users on the application, it works properly and things like that. So that's why the non-functional testing is really important. So what to test? We need to test for the security, we need to test for usability, we need to test for scalability. Scalability is like we expand like the uh, product so that it works properly, right? Suppose we are um, using 100, 100 users are using currently if you want to increase it to 1000 users, how the system behaves. So those kind of things comes under scalability. And interoper interoperability, efficiency, flexibility, all these factors come under non-functional testing. And what are the types of tests we do? Like as part of non-functional, we do like performance testing, right? So under performance testing basically ensures the performance of a system in terms of responsiveness and stability, right? So we are testing responsiveness and stability as part of performance testing. So this involves load testing, stress testing, endurance and spike. Spike is suddenly increasing the load and see how the system behaves. Endurance is keeping the workload uh, continuously and see how it works and uh, load and stress, right? Uh, to increase number of users or uh, to stress it basically trying to test uh, the maximum limit where the application breaks or crashes, right? So, so you can so other types of non-functional testing is usability testing, scalability testing and uh, security testing. Uh, security testing is a very important part of functional testing nowadays uh, because of all these cyber attacks and uh, um, application security issues. So these are the tests that are done part of non-functional testing. And also there is kind of recovery testing, reliability testing and documentation testing. So recovery testing is performed how fast and better application can recover after it has suffered some kind of hardware failure or virus attack or any kind of system crash. Reliability testing verifies whether software can perform a faultless operation for a specific period of time. Suppose you are testing the application for three hours, uh, we want to make sure the application works properly uh, for those three hours, right? Then documentation, just need to verify that um, all the um, artifacts are developed as per the documented software requirements and things like that. 
So these are some of the non-functional testing we do as part of uh, the uh, product verification <coughs> validation, right? So let us see some difference between functional and non-functional testing and uh, what is the importance, right? So the main objective of functional testing is basically test the behavior of the software system. Uh, Non-functional testing is test the performance and uh, usability and scalability of the system. So the main focus area for functional is requirements. Uh, for non-functional, uh, it depends on the expectations of the user. Maybe user wants the application to respond within two seconds for uh, any uh, functionality or performance, things like that. So what are the things we test in uh, functional, functional testing, we test the functionality, non-functional, we test performance and how the system should work, right? Then what we execute as part of functional testing, we is, um, functional testing is done before non-functional, uh, non-functional is done after functional test, right? So what is the requirement of functional testing? Uh, defining functional requirements is not difficult in functional testing. For non-functional, it is difficult to define requirements. So we need to talk to users and see what are the things we need to focus on non-functional testing and things like that. So what are the testing types? Um, so we have fun for functional testing, we have unit testing, smoke testing, integration, regression, and user acceptance. Uh, for non-functional, we have performance, usability, scalability, stress, portability and different kinds of tests. And also, if you have like uh, internal, uh, international application, you have to do localization and internalization testing. Right? These are the various types of non-functional tests. And um, so this is a summary, what is functional testing and what is non-functional testing. I think you got some idea about differences between functional and non-functional testing. Why we need to do both for a successful product, right? So I hope you got some information through this video. And if you have any questions, uh, put it in the comment section. I will reply to those questions as soon as possible. Uh, if you like this video, click on the like button and. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.